episode of Back Max I, I'm going to show you how to make this, a desktop lightning generator. You're probably wondering how I just made lightning in my apartment. The answer is this, a solid state Tesla coil. It's an electrical device that you can plug into your wall and it sends pulses into a system that can store the energy and release it all at once. Just like when you're on a swing and being pushed at the right time, you go higher and higher, and whenever you want to, you can jump off and convert all that energy into a big jump. And in this case, the big jump is a gigantic spark, about 12 inches long. So how does the Tesla coil perform this transformation? Using this circuit, designed by inventor Gao Guanyin and my friend and fellow YouTuber, Lab Coats. Check out Lab Coats' video up here if you want to learn more about the electrical engineering of the circuit. In order to build it, we need to go on an electronic shopping spree, and we need to build a primary coil, secondary coil, and top load. Let me show you how I did that, by starting with the secondary coil. Alright, so to make a secondary coil, we need something to wrap wire around, like a cylindrical object, and we're going to need some wire. So. We can't just use my charger cord, but this will suffice as an illustration. I need to wrap a wire around a cylinder like this to make a coil. And this gives the wire some electrical properties called inductance. And inductance is essential for transferring the energy from the primary coil to this secondary coil. So I've got to make a jig to wrap some wire around this cylinder. So, let's figure out what we're gonna do. <laughs> I tried this design, but it wasn't sturdy enough. Then I tried this design, and it was sturdier, but I would have spent hours winding the coil. So I did some more research and got access to a maker space in order to get a drill. I started working on the coil winding mechanism with the drill, but still, I had a hard time getting the coil started. Okay, I don't know why I was building my own coil because I have a coil, I think I have a coil left over from a Tesla coil kit that I bought previously. Come on over to my little electronics warehouse. And yeah, I mean, I have this. I just wasn't sure if it was gonna be the right frequency, but I think I can make it work. And then we also have a nice little top right here, so. Lucky me, I already have a Tesla coil. All right. So we've got our secondary coil and our top load. Now we just need to get the components for the circuit board. Uh, here, I got all of them, and they're in my shopping cart. And I'm using DigiKey. This episode is sponsored by, no, I'm kidding. Okay. But anyway, here are all the parts, and it actually cost me less than $60. So, really happy with that. Now we just sit back, relax, and wait for the stuff to come. What the... Someone knocked at my door. What the... Excuse me? Is someone there? What the hell? Tate Macaloni? Yeah, that's me. Storms are coming. Storms are co... Okay, so all the stuff is here, and uh, now we just gotta build this circuit. So we know what circuit we need to make, but if we built it the normal way, all the wires would get all over each other because there's a lot of components. What we really need is a printed circuit board. Luckily, I do know there's this one ancient way that I've heard sometimes works, but I think we should just try it because I'm kind of desperate at this point, to be honest. Oh, lab coats, you are the best YouTuber, and as your loyal devotee, Bless me on this day with a PCB. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we got it. Okay, this is a Tesla coil circuit board. Thank you, lab coats. Welcome. I'm gonna go to Mexico and leave everyone behind. I need a new vacation. To let me know we can meet before I leave, I'm at the train station. Oh, wait, I'm gonna wait, that's not right. Uh, thanks. All my bags are back, go give me one more piece on the stage. I 
happening other than that the circuit isn't working except when I touch the high voltage end of the potentiometer to the positive end of the LED she she me and there's also buzzing so I have no clue what's happening okay so I figured out the issue it was this potentiometer and there it wasn't making good electrical contact and so I'm just gonna replace it and see if it fixes it. Always maintain the same display. You saw that he said, she said, you up the day. Now I really got time to waste. <laughs> okay, so it's roughly constructed. Now we just gotta give it a test. Okay, so it can make lightning, but I kind of want to make it prettier. I don't want it to just be this mess of wires on my desk. So uh, let's design a 3D printed enclosure. Okay, here's the final design for my enclosure. There's four pieces. The one on the far left is to hold the transformer to the circuit board. The second one is what I'm calling the base or the enclosure. The third one, that one just on the ground, is the lid. And then on the left now is the primary coil former that's going to help shape the primary coil. Over here you can see a little hole in the design to hold a permanent magnet so that all these pieces can snap together really easily. There's the hole for the power cable. So yeah, that's a design. Let's print it. Okay, we did it. Everybody, I present to you desktop lighting.
lightning over a foot long, and it cost me less than 100 bucks. Okay, let's give these PCBs away now. I'm gonna give four away. Two on my Patreon to two of my patrons, and two to two of you guys. That's a lot of twos. Comment down below if you'd like to build Labcoats' ramp solid state Tesla coil that I just made, and I'll send it to you if you live in the US. I'll mail it to you for free, because why not? Like, gotta spread the Tesla coil love, you know? If you like the content, share it with your friends. I mean, I just made lightning at my desk. I, I feel like they'll enjoy it, you know? Um, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell, like the video, comment a video idea down below that you want me to try next. I've also got more plasma projects in the works, so stay excited, stay posted. Uh, also on Instagram, I answer science questions, so feel free to comment over there or down here and I'll answer one of your science questions uh, in an exciting infographic way. I'd like to give a special shout out to my patrons on Patreon. I have many, as you can see. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. It helps me do this kind of stuff. I'm Tate, and this has been another episode of Back Max Eye. Lost speed, but I found it. Oh! I'm an extra life.